To check belt tension using pencil gauges or pull draw scales, deflect the belt at mid-span 1 64th inch per inch of span length with the amount of force specified from a tension formula. The most accurate way to determine the tension values is by entering the parameters of your belt drive into the Gates Design Flex Pro Design software or by cross-referencing them in the engineering section of the Gates Belt Drive Design Manuals. For example, let's assume you have a 5VX900 belt, which is a super HC molded notch V-belt 90 inches long. We enter drive parameters into Design Flex Web located at gates.com slash drive design. Based on the drive detail report, the recommended deflection force is between 9.8 to 10 pounds. Next, measure the span length. In our example, let's assume it is 29.4 inches. Take this measurement and multiply it by 1 64th inch. And this number is the O-ring setting on the cylinder for the span length in inches on the tension tester. For our example, set the O-ring slightly below the half inch mark. Make sure the O-ring along the force scale on the plunger is set at zero. At the center of the span with the tension tester perpendicular to the belt, apply pressure until the O-ring lines up with the straight edge laid across the tops of adjacent belts if a multi-strand drive or string or straight edge for a single belt drive. Look at the force scale and verify that the reading falls between the values indicated for proper tension. If not, adjust belt tension. In our example, the reading is 10 pounds, so no adjustment is needed. If using multiple belts on a single drive, the tension of each belt or strand should be measured individually and each belt should fall within recommended tension values.